debate was called by Parliament's presiding officers under the theme Accelerating Radical Economic Transformation. Environmental Affairs Minister Edna Mulewa, who led the debate on behalf of the ruling party, said the last 21 years had seen a remarkable improvement in the lives of previously disadvantaged South Africans. We as government led, the African, led by the African National Congress have prioritized social economic transformation by directing government spending towards helping the most needy. That millions of households now have access to basic services, access to health care, and education is a static. We often, as statistics actually, we often take for granted without the benefit of hindsight and history. But opposition the parties held a different opinion, arguing that the country's slow economic growth rate was hampering economic freedom for the masses. The time has come to us to realize freedom that everybody in our country can use. And it can only be done through growing our economy that creates jobs. South Africa has, in fact, the potential to become the leader amongst emerging economies in the world. But to do this, it requires sound policies and focus itself on growth. What freedom are we celebrating when 21 years later, 44% of South Africans live in absolute poverty? What freedom are we celebrating when even those with jobs are paid slave wages? What freedom are we celebrating when women continue to be exploited and rural women not allowed to own the land? The call for radical action has come because we allowed ourselves to be diverted from the slow, steady path of economic growth early in our democracy. What happened to Gia or Askisa? What happened to a clear, unambiguous economic policy? Courageous leadership is needed to pull our nation out of poverty. The country celebrated 21 years of democracy on April the 27th. Lukanyo Tchalada, SABC News, Parliament.